and welcome to Kids Corner on Armstrong Channel 20. I'm Miss Krista and I'm so excited today to be at Poland Union Elementary School with Mrs. Watts and Mrs. Jeswald's second grade classes. We have a really exciting book today, one of my favorites. It's a book that I'm sure you've read and that you've read over and over. If You Give a Pig a Party by Laura Numeroff. After that, we're going to make our very own party favors. We are getting ready right now to make tags, little key tags, tags that you could put your name on, that you can decorate, that you can put right on your backpack or your swim bag for the summer. And after we decorate this little piece of paper, we're going to use Mod Podge and put it right on here with a little piece of string in the middle so that you can tag it wherever you want. And you can make these for your friends, you can make these during a party, you can make these anytime because they're really inexpensive to make and it probably has uses material that you already have at home. I hope that you love our book and our craft and if you would like Armstrong to come to your school, have a grown up email us at channel 20, that's channel 20 at agoc.com. I think I hear our class is coming. Let's get ready. Who likes to go to parties? <laughs> I love a good party. And I see, I think I see Mr. Masucci. Is that Mr. Masucci? Nope, that's the other, that's the other second grade teacher back there, right? I love to go to parties. Why do you love to go to parties? I wait, wait, wait. Raise your hands. Let me see here. Why do you love to go to parties? For what? Cake. <laughs> oh, smart girl. Why do you love to go to parties? Because sometimes they're at swimming pools and I love to swim. <gasps> swimming parties rock. Why do you love to go to parties? Because they're really fun. They are fun. Why do you love to go to parties? Because it's, it's a lot of fun. It is. You're right. Blue girl, why do you love to go to parties? Um, because I like seeing all the people opening our presents. You love to see people opening presents. Very nice. Why do you love to go to parties? Yep, you. Mm -hmm. Yep. Because I like playing fun stuff with them. You like fun stuff? Why do you love to go to parties? Presents. Presents. What about you? Because they're fun. Because they're fun. Have you ever thrown a party? Who's had a party? <gasps> Who loves Zebra Heart Girl? What do you love about, yep, you're a zebra heart girl. Yep, right there. Why do you, um, I have to look down too to see what I'm wearing. It's usually an Armstrong shirt. Why do you love to throw a party? Because it makes you presents, I guess. Yeah, yeah, you get presents and stuff. Why do you love to throw a party? You get to make sure all the de decorations are what you like. Oh, so you get to pick your own decorations. So cool, why do you love to throw a party? Presents and cake. Presents and cake, and well, what about you? The presents. The presents, presents rock. What about you, basketball boy? Because then I get to play basketball at my house because I'm a basketball fan. Really? So when people come over for a party, do they play basketball with you? Yeah, we usually play games. Sweet. What about you, girl? What do you love, pink girl? Yeah. Uh, the presents. You love the presents. What about you? Uh-huh. Yeah, both of you. You go first in the Under Armour shirt. I like good food. You like good food. Smart boy. What about you? Pizza. Pizza? Oh, who's had a pizza party? You did, so cool. I like, I like, the, I like the party when it's the bounce around house, but the birthday boy always gets the one first. Oh, that's true. And then at the bounce around, you get to sit on the bounce around throne, right? That's like the best part of bounce around. And what about you? Yep. This party is great. It's what? Crazy. Because they're crazy? <laughs> Parties can be crazy. What, since you're, you're children, though you are animals too. You're not turtles, you're not dolphins. What if you were a pig? What pigs? What if you were a pig throwing a party? What kind of party would you have? What kind of party would you have? I, I'm sorry, I can't hear my friend. What kind of party would you have? A mud party. A mud party. Hmm. Well, let's see what kind of party this pig has. Who knows what cause and effect mean? If something happens, then? Something good might happen. Yeah, something else happens. You're right. So something happened. One thing happens, then something else might happen. If this happens, then that happens. For instance, if I went like this to Mr. Greg, ooh, 
Mr. Greg's gonna try not to smile. He wants to smile. He wants to smile. He wants to smile. There he goes. So if one thing happens, then something else usually happens. Sometimes you can guess what happens, right? Sometimes you can't. Let's see if we give this pig a party what happens. If you give a pig a party, who's read this book? I love this book. I read this book a thousand times a year. This is the first time I've done it in Kids Corner though. I always love to hear it again. I borrowed this from my kids. If you give a pig a party, she's going to ask you for some balloons. When you give her the balloons, she'll want to decorate the house. Who's my decorate girl? You were my decorate girl, huh? You'd love to decorate. When she's finished, she'll put on her favorite dress. Then she'll call all her friends to invite them to the party. Her friends won't be home, so you'll go with her to look for them. On the way, she'll see a street fair. She'll want you to take her on the bumper cars. It's almost festival season here, isn't it? Next month, festivals start. All her friends will be there. She does have a lot of friends, just like you guys. Then you'll have to take her on all the rides. She'll want to play all the games, too. Does that sound like you? Yeah. When she's done, she'll ask you for some ice cream. Yeah. yeah. When she's finished eating the ice cream, she'll need to change her clothes you have to take her home. Does she look happy? She'll ask her friends to come along. On the way, she'll start a game of hide and seek. Where are they? Oh, there's a girl behind the tree. Who can spot the snake? Where's the snake? Pink girl. It's, um, but it's on the tree. You're right, yep, yeah, right there. Who can spot the moose? <gasps> can you, yep, pink star girl. Mm-hmm. Um, right Yep. <laughs> yep, right there. Who can spot the bunny rabbit? Colorful girl. Yep. Um, in the wheelbarrow. Oh, you're right, I see ears. And who can spot the fox? Yep. You could come up. Do you see the fox? Do you see, what about right there in the next to the rabbit? Who can spot the mouse? <laughs> okay, go ahead, where's the mouse? Right there. Very good. of paper. Okay, you have two discs of paper. And this is special paper. It's called canvas paper. It's painting paper. But the reason I picked it is because if you feel it, it's very soft and very thick because we're going to put some glue on it and I don't want it to fall apart. But it's also because it's so thick and soft, it's going to absorb the marker and make all cool designs. So when you put the marker on it, it's really going to kind of grab in. What I want you to do with this and with the piece of wood is decorate it. One side, you only need to decorate one side because that's all you're going to see when you put it together. So just like I didn't decorate the piece of wood on this one, 
And I just colored Mr. Graves orange because I was running out of time. But after you do that, then we're going to put a tag in the middle with what's called Mod Podge. Who's ever heard of Mod Podge? Who's ever heard of this? You have? Good, good, good. It is sort of like glue, but once you, once you paint it on something, it will glue things and make them stick together, but it will also glaze them over so it feels almost like plastic on the top. And it's gonna dry, even though it's white, it'll dry clear so that you can have this for a little while longer so it doesn't just fall apart on you. After we color our one disc of paper, we are going to take another disc. Let me get my little paintbrush here. And I'm going to take a string. So I am going to give each of you this. I have a little string, right, that I cut. It's just plastic string. And I have my disc of paper. I'm going to take the side that's not colored, and I'm going to paint it with my paintbrush. And then, put that right there. And then I am going to take this and make a loop out of it. You see, I just made a loop, so I have two tails at the bottom. I have two tails. I'm going to put the tails into the Mod Podge that I just painted on the disc. Too many discs here. There we go. And then I'm going to take another disc and put it right on top. I sandwich them together. So I have a Mod Podge sandwich with a string in the middle. And that way, when we glue this onto the piece of wood using Mod Podge again, and I'm gonna put lots of Mod Podge on the disc of wood. Then we'll go ahead and put that in the middle. Hold it down. This one isn't very fun, huh? Because there's no decoration on it. And you have your tag. After that though, one last step, and I'm gonna come around and help you. We're gonna actually hold on to the tag and Mod Podge over the entire thing because that means that your decoration will stay forever, whatever you decorate that piece of paper and the wood, because even though it looks white right now, this is going to dry clear. So all I did was paint over the entire creation. Okay, sound good? But before you do anything with Mod Podge, and that's why it's not in front of you, you need to decorate what's in front of you, any color you want. And then after that, what I want you to do is put a word in the middle. That's why you each have an ink pen. Okay, you have an ink pen in front of you, and that is so that you could put, I put Mr. Greg's name in the middle of one. I have one back in my office that I put Miss Krista's in it. You can put any word, you can put your name in it, you can put a friend's name in it and share them. So like if you were doing party favors, you could put